Hello guys, this is Impure here. Um, I'm gonna make another tutorial. This tutorial is because um, since the last update of Transmise, they removed a whole bunch of bugs, glitches, and other things, such as um, the Invalid Friction is gone, Infinite Restitution is gone, uh, Infinite Rotation is gone, um, uh, Conveyor Belts don't work anymore, um, up boosters don't work anymore. They they are all gone. But Tigranet also added some new cool features. Um, this one I'm going to show you now is going to replace uh, Ripe's glitch. Um, I'll show you how to make it. It's it's a lot harder than uh, it used to be, but it has a lot more potential and more things and abilities. So first we're going to make the ground. We you want to connect. <coughs> this first one, of course, you have to make it dynamic, give it a mass, make it fixed rotated. I duplicate it for now. So we want to connect these two grounds. Usually we add a ground between them, but now we're going to do something different. Um, you copy the map. You go to a text document. I already have text here um, that I use for something else. So this is the map XML. Um, you're going to see this a lot now. Uh, because you have to edit a lot of things. The first thing we have to do is we have to get this um, L code and we have to put it between the, the O code here and the set code. So right here. So we have it there. Then this is the code where we place all the, the new coding language because there's um, a lot of new things such as JP uh, JD, JPL, JR. Um, these all have weird features. One is a replacement for a red anchor. Um, there are ones that connect grounds together and you can have them connected together in a X way so they only uh, move together at um, in the X direction. Oh sorry I pasted that. Anyways, I'll explain about that more in the next tutorials. I'm first going to explain how to replace Ripe Glitch because a lot of maps are broken with it and I want it to be fixed. So first you get this code, you copy it and you put it between the L code. So you put it there. Then you see A and a B. That stands, um, these stand for the set coordinates, the set value. Um, that's this value, set equals 1 and set equals 2. So um, you go back to the, here and you fill in 1 and 2. Oh, and 2. Now you connected these two together. Um, axis here means um, which which way they can move. This, this value stands for x, this for y and if this is one it can only move in the Y so we need both of them so I made another version so you can see there's you have to fill it in twice so it also does it for the X so you fill in the, the two values again copy the code load it in editor and you validate the map and now these are connected together it's a lot more reliable than Ripe's glitch um, it's the only thing we have at the moment. Maybe they will fix it back, I don't know, but uh, for now you have to do this to fix all your maps. So, thank you for watching, and I will explain more in the next tutorials.